Liverpool wants to sign a 60.2 million pounds midfielder. Contact already made. Great Liverpool target has been compared to Thomas Muller. Bad news involving Ryan Gravenberch is confirmed. Hello, my friend and supporter. Welcome to the channel of the greatest club in the world. Attention, is Liverpool going to sign Kudus? As soon as Mohamed Kudus shown by scoring two impressive goals securing the victory against Wolverhampton Wanderers, rumors began to circulate about a possible sale by West Ham. Usual suspects like PSG, Liverpool, Real Madrid, and Manchester United were mentioned as expected. However, an additional concern arose that the Saudi Pro League could also be interested in acquiring Kudus. Reports indicated that even if the Pro League signs Mohamed Salah as their ambassador next summer, they would still be interested in Kudus. The Saudis made a significant impact during the last summer transfer window, showing a willingness to invest substantial amounts in sports, following their successful ventures in golf and boxing. Reflecting on Kudus's exceptional form, it was noted that Liverpool could have an interest in him, especially if Salah leaves Anfield. Just two months ago, there were concerns about Liverpool choosing Jared Bowen as Salah's replacement, but the focus now seems to have shifted to the remarkable Ghanaian. However, Liverpool may face difficulties in acquiring Kudus due to his notable achievements and increasing value. Kudus's impressive statistics, including five goals in the Premier League, three goals in the Europa League, and one goal in the EFL Cup, highlight his prolific goal-scoring ability, notable for a winger. West Ham's successful recruitment under Tim Stighton's leadership has been remarkable, and with Kudus emerging as a world-class talent, interest in him is expected. However, the growing Saudi influence adds another layer to the situation. West Ham fans express confidence that the club is no longer in a position where they need to sell their key players. The sale of Declan Rice was a forced move due to contractual circumstances, but the club negotiated well, receiving a considerable amount for their former captain. While Lucas Paqueta has an £85 million release clause, there is no such known stipulation for Kudus, putting West Ham in a strong position regarding the player. Certainly, if Liverpool makes a £100 million offer, it would be promptly rejected. However, if the Saudis come in with £150 million, the situation could be substantially different placing West Ham in complex decisions about the future of Mohamed Kudus. Liverpool has maintained a prolonged interest in the talented Portuguese defensive midfielder Joao Palinha. The latest information is quite intriguing. Earlier this month, we covered a story stating that the Reds were actively in contact to acquire the services of the defensive midfielder from Fulham. According to the latest edition of Record, Liverpool is eager to sign Palinha from the Cottagers, but they are not alone in this race. The esteemed Portuguese news agency mentioned that other heavyweight clubs, such as Manchester United, Arsenal, Chelsea, and Bayern Munich, have also shown interest in the player. Adding more excitement, the latest team entering the fray is the current English and European champion, Manchester City. According to record, the former sporting midfielder, 28 years old, is valued at a substantial 60.2 million pounds, equivalent to around 70 million euros. During the summer, Endo was brought to Anfield as a replacement for Fabinho. However, it must be acknowledged that the Japanese international, while dedicated and hardworking, has not been able to match the solidity in the midfield role compared to Fabinho's performance. His passing and tackling abilities have not reached the same level as the Brazilian, making Liverpool's interest in Joao Palinha understandable. The Portuguese national team star is recognized as one of the Premier League's best defenders, and his potential arrival could significantly strengthen Liverpool's midfield. In your opinion, should Liverpool offer £60.2 million to sign Joao Palinha? A German football expert expressed optimism about the potential transfer of forward Maximilian Bayer from Hoffenheim to Liverpool, highlighting his notable pace and similarities in playing style with the renowned Thomas Muller. While expressing support for the move, the expert cautioned Liverpool to be careful as they face fierce competition from clubs like Brighton, Brentford and Nottingham Forest, all interested in acquiring the promising player. His impressive start in the Bundesliga, with six goals in the first eight matches, has captured the attention of several Premier League clubs. In addition to his goal-scoring prowess, Bayer contributed three assists in a notable Hoffenheim victory over Stuttgart by three. 
two on October 28th. Although Bayer hasn't scored since October 21st, his outstanding performance continues to attract interest. In October, Premier League teams, including Liverpool, Everton, and Brentford, were already monitoring his rise in the football scene. However, Hoffenheim acted swiftly, securing his stay with a new contract valid until June 2027. Recent revelations from the German channel Bild indicate that Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool's manager, sees Bayer as a potential signing for 2024. Sky Germany reporter Florian Plettenberg detailed that the speedy forward will be available for transfer for 30 million euros next summer, approximately 25.7 million pounds. Christian Falk, head of football coverage at Bild, shared information about Liverpool's ongoing interest in Bayer, highlighting his versatile qualities and making a flattering comparison with Thomas Muller. Despite Liverpool's interest, there are considerations about his immediate impact on the team. The expert suggests that Brighton's interest seems more substantial, while there is also declared interest from Brentford and Nottingham Forest. Bayer's versatility, capable of playing roles on the wings, in the centre, or behind the number nine, is emphasised as a strong point. His impressive speed also stands out as a feature that would align well with Liverpool's style of play, although he may not be the first choice. Being compared to Thomas Muller is seen as a significant compliment for Bayer, considering the success of the Bayern Munich icon. Therefore, Liverpool is keeping a close eye on Bayer, a player who promises to add value to the international football scene. Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp confirmed concerns about midfielder Ryan Gravenberch, who reportedly suffered a hamstring injury during the goalless draw against Manchester United last Sunday. Gravenberg's departure from the field at the 61st minute, accompanied by a physiotherapist and applauding the fans, raises doubts about his availability for the festive period. Cody Gakpo was the substitute in the match at Anfield. Liverpool's midfield is already facing significant absences. Thiago Alcantara is also in the process of returning from a knee injury. Klopp, in his post-match press conference, revealed that Gravenberch, in his performance against the Red Devils, felt the injury during an intense sprint, resulting in a collision at the 18-yard line. Klopp's concerns extend beyond Gravenberg's current physical state, as the manager expressed uncertainties about the Dutchman's participation in the upcoming games, given the relentless schedule with three matches in the next 10 days. The coach emphasized the need for more detailed assessments to determine the extent of the injury. After the draw with Manchester United, Liverpool finds itself in the second position on the table, one point behind Arsenal. The next crucial encounter will be against the Gunners at Anfield over the weekend, followed by a quarter-final clash in the EFL Cup against West Ham United on Wednesday. Klopp and his team face significant challenges amid injuries and the intensity of the schedule. Thank you very much for watching until here. Until next time.